every time I tell myself I'll stop writing about her, I start writing about her. And the way she dances, you see, she dances as if dancing were the only way to move, and I'm plugged into her groove. I'm wired into my desire for her sonic boom because we are in tune. And on the days we dance together, our footsteps shuffle through the streets gracefully. Arm in arm, she leads me into poetry. And we rely on each other spiritually and physically. But when she lets go, I unsuccessfully search for the same sounds elsewhere, faking music with off-key melodies and turning up the volume on stagnant symphonies. But every time I tell myself I'll stop wanting her, I start wanting her. And the rhythm of my heartbeat is the rhythm of her heartbeat. And we'll close our eyes and listen. And we'll bob our heads and listen. Love, rest in your hands like an eagle who suddenly settled upon the solitary home of sensitive skin. She reads your palms like road maps, tracing the outlines like history, and her claws cut to the bone, but you bleed out the pain and clear your heart for the promise of flight, the freedom to let yourself go. We found each other. Chasing the sky, waiting for stars to form from the warm, dark air. And on our way there, we caught birds. And they reminded us that our minds defy gravity. Our lungs embrace the wind. Our hearts know no fear of falling. She and I are folded into each other and naked. Two pieces of paper, once blank, now full of words. We don't speak, we don't do anything but breathe proximity. She has poems in her head, and I suck the words out until they're overflowing on sheets, knowing that we don't have to read between the lines this time. This time we are nude, not hiding behind metaphors or synonyms. Our limbs are wet with slips of tongue, her lips are dipped in gold. Kiss her everywhere with flexible fingers and map out her story on her body. It glows on her skin. And the plot goes in and out of context. What's next but sex? Tension is tied up and friction rides up through sound. We are dirty and divine. Dirty. Stamping each other with heat inside an envelope of arms, she's so easy to write about. I clutch her curves and compose a composition, literally and figuratively. There's no fantasy this time. This time we are real. Riding the back of the moon until the sun takes us to morning.